Hello everyone, this is Peter Brown with a look at your weather for the upcoming week. And the first thing that you're going to notice on our almanac here is look at our average highs. They're supposed to be only in the 40s. Look at what we're predicting for a high on Friday coming up, 50. And to tell you the truth, looking at the latest models, I would say you could tack probably another 6 or 7 degrees onto that. We're actually going to be fairly close to the record high of 63 that we set many years ago. This negative 5 for a record low, we are going to be far from that. And I actually don't see anything coming up that's going to any be anywhere near as cold as that. As we get to the end of the period, though, getting into next week, temperatures are supposed to be in the upper 30s, and we might actually be about around the upper 30s by the end of the period, so about normal. As you can see, the daylight hours now, we're just about at the shortest time of the year for daylight. So a couple more days, and the days will start getting longer. So that's something to look forward to. As we move ahead, I'm going to show you what's going to be going on this week. And when we get into the Monday time frame, we may have a storm that might be um, coming near us and going up the Hudson River Valley in New York. What that means for us is, again, another storm with warm air, no snow for us, maybe just some spotty rain. So for any of the snow lovers around here and for people up in the mountains even, it doesn't look like there's going to be a ton of snow coming out of this system. It looks like it's going to stay fairly mild. And Monday we could actually see temperatures in the 60s with this rain. So... Snow lovers, I'm sorry to say, doesn't look like this is going to be a good storm for the ski resort areas either. And as we move ahead, I'm going to show you a couple of graphics. This is a graphic of the snow cover at this time last year. And I want you to notice a couple of things. There wasn't a ton of snow in the lower 48 last year, but notice when you get up to Hudson Bay, all of that yellow coloring. All of that yellow coloring is ice-covered water. And at this time last year, Hudson Bay, and fairly early in the season, was almost completely covered in ice, and that was indicative of the cold air that was about to come down into the lower 48 in January. But as we fast forward to this year, I'm going to show you the next graph. This is this year. As you can see, not nearly as much snow on the ground, and look at Hudson Bay. It's almost completely open water, meaning that there's really been no real cold air even in Canada, and that may set us up for good weather going into January. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed for that, that we keep up the nice warm weather we've been seeing in December. And we'll hope for the best, that's for sure. And as we move ahead, I'm going to show you some of the great temperatures that we're going to have for the upcoming week. Look at the weekend coming up, folks. I mean, we're talking the second weekend of December. Look at the temperatures in the 50s. And Sunday, I wouldn't be surprised if we see temperatures go up into the lower 60s if we get some real good sunshine early on. Again, that chance of rain on Monday with warm temperatures again. Then falling back to normal with just fair conditions. We may have a chance on Thursday, maybe some flurries heading into late at night. But temperatures, again, are only going to be average. Nothing really too cold coming. So I'm going to tell you, this looks like a great forecast coming up. If you have anything to do, any plans, get out there and enjoy the outside weather because this is December and how often do we get this? And I hope you have a wonderful weekend and enjoy the great weather.